In this video, we're going to be looking at Vention version 8. Vention is a backup and data recovery software. So Vention can backup any of your uh, virtual machines, whether you're using VMware, Citrix, Hyper-V, Proxmox. I mean, they have a wide array of software compatibilities with all the big hypervisor players. So today's video is going to be more about how to install Vention for the first time, right? This is for the first time users that, you know, hey, I have a hypervisor environment, whether that's Proxmox or VMware, and I really wanna back up some of my virtual machines, right? Well, let's go ahead and dive in, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get Vention up and running and get a backup job running within, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to Vention.com. Once you get to this webpage, you're gonna click on Try Now, you're gonna fill out this form. Now keep in mind, you don't have to fill out a credit card. So there's no credit card sign up, no nothing. Just put in your information. You're getting an email with the direct download link. And you're also gonna get a license key that's good up for 60 days. So you basically have two months to fully try out their software for your personal environment. Or maybe you have an enterprise business company you're trying to work with and you're trying to implement a backup solution for them and their servers. So like I said, once you fill out the information, you're gonna get an email with a direct download link for the software. It's gonna look like something like this in this screenshot here. You're gonna click download, and it's gonna download an ISO. Now this will take some time because it is a, a good like six or seven gigs. You can see I'm downloading it right here. It's about seven gigs. It is a Linux ISO, keep that in mind. So while this is downloading, go ahead and log into your hypervisor, whether you're using Proxmox, Citrix, uh, Hyper-V, uh, VMware, now we have a VMware uh, instance, so we're gonna go ahead and use VMware E6i, and we're gonna go ahead and go to our storage container, and we're gonna browse to our data store. And if you don't have a folder, I like keeping my stuff separate, so I created a folder called ISOs. So I went ahead and clicked on ISOs, and once that uh, ISO gets done downloading here, we're gonna go ahead and upload that ISO into our directory here. Okay, as you can see, our download has been completed. So now we're gonna go ahead and upload the ISO to our ESXi server. So go ahead and click on upload. We're gonna to browse to our desktop because that's where we saved our, that ISO. We're gonna click on DaVinci Enterprise uh, Rocky Linux ISO. Click on open. Now it's gonna go ahead and start uploading that ISO to our folder here. So if we hit close here, you can see in our task window that it's, it is uploading. So while that's running, we can go to our virtual machines and right click and we're going to create a new virtual machine. So go ahead and click on create new virtual machine. We're going to name this Vinchen uh, Demo. We're going to go here, we're going to do the 8.0 which is fine. We're going to go to Linux as the drop down and then we're going to find the Rocky Linux 64 bit. Click on next. We're gonna select the one data store that we have. So click on next. So for the system requirements, from what I found on their website, they want you to at least have eight cores. So we're gonna select eight cores on it. For the memory, it recommends 16 gigs, but I have run this on less. So I ran it on eight gigs and it ran perfectly fine still. But like I said, the system requirements that they recommend are 16 gigs. And then for the hard drive, it's 100 gigs. So once you got those preset, now you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna select what network you're gonna put that on. So we're just gonna do the standard VM network, which is gonna be on our main network here. And then we wanna to go to uh, data store ISO, because we wanna link that ISO file uh, to the server, right? So we can install it. So we click on our ISOs and there's that Vention Enterprise ISO that we just uploaded. So go ahead and select that and make sure before you choose that, that it is done uh, uploading, you can see down here it did complete successfully. So we can go ahead and select that and we won't have any issues. So click on next and then finish. And then we're gonna wait for that to create the virtual machine. All right, there you have it, virtual machine demo. So we're gonna click on that and click on power on. Now the one thing that I do love about this software is that it's very easy to get up and running. So we're already at the installation, so hit click on install. And like I said, it's very easy to install because once you install the ISO uh, onto this virtual machine, uh, it's already preloaded with the, the database it needs, the web interface. I mean, everything's already preloaded and ready to go for you. It's pretty easy to get up and running so quickly. So while this is doing its due diligence, I'm going to pause the video and come back once it gets done. 
All right, once you see this uh, installation summary of the Rocky Linux installation, you're going to go ahead and go to System Installation Destination. We need to choose that. That's that 100 gig uh, disk that we just created. So click on that and then click on Done. All right, the next step is going into the Network Center. And you want to make sure this is turned on. And you can see we already got an IPv4 uh, DHCP address, but we're going to hit Configure because we want to set this to static because we don't want this IP address to ever change again. So click on IPv4, click on Add, and we're going to go ahead and type in our static IP. Now this is going to be different for everyone. Um, like I said, this is for my environment. Yours could be completely different. So make sure you find an open IP address on your network to enter these uh, details in. And we can't forget our DNS server, so we'll just set it to Google's DNS, or you can send it to Cloudflare or whoever you want. So now go ahead and click on Save, and you can see now it's reflecting our uh, new IP address. Up, oh, and it's showing us two different IPs because I just realized we need to go back to configure, go to IPv4, and make sure you change this method from automatic to manual, and that'll get rid of that automatic DHCP address. So we hit Save, and boom, there you go. Now it's reflecting our correct static IP that we set, and now we go ahead and click on Done. Now once you have those two things set, let's go ahead and begin the installation. And now it's going to be installing everything for us, and it will be up and running here shortly, and then soon Remember that IP address we just said, we'll be able to browse to that IP address and be able to log in to our Vinchin installation. All right, while this finishes up the installation, I do want to show you the uh, default login you're going to need to log into the web console, which is the default username is admin, and then this is the default password once you do the installation. And then if you need it for whatever reason, do some SSH uh, login to that server to set up something or do a uh, reconfiguration even though you can pretty much access everything in that web console, um, you can SSH to that IP address and then that username is going to be backup and then that password is this uh, as the default backup uh, to SSH into the Rocky Linux uh, instance. Okay, our installation is complete. Go ahead and click on Reboot System and we're going to wait for it to come back up. This will be a good time to go ahead and remove that ISO since we are no longer needing that. So go ahead and go on Actions, click Edit Settings. And we're going to scroll down and find that ISO that we mounted and we're going to just change it to host device and click on save. You're going to want to change that to yes and then hit answer. So yeah, as you can see it's running some scripts right now. We're just waiting for all the services to start up and then we'll be able to log in. All right after it gets running all those scripts you can see we're at the localhost login and like I said if you needed to log in here you would use that backup username and this password to log in but we're not going to be logging into this because we don't need this anymore so we're going to close out of this. We're going to open up a new tab, and remember that static IP address we set earlier? Go ahead and type that into your web browser, hit enter. Now, you will get this connection is not private, but that's because we don't have a valid cert, but that's fine, so we're going to hit advance and hit proceed anyway, and we should get Vincent's login. Yes! So, once you get to this point, you're, you're all good to go. You're set up, you're installed, you're ready to rock and roll and do some backups. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and log in with that admin and that default password. So, admin and that password. And now it does want us to change that password because they already detected that that was the default password. So in this instance, if this is a production, go ahead and change your password. If you're just testing the software out, then obviously you can hit later or change the password as well. It's always a good thing to change from the default. So right away, you can see we got unlicensed. That's perfectly fine. So we're going to go to system. We're going to system license. Now, when you got that email to download this ISO, you also got... Um, an attachment or another link to download your license file. So we already saved that to our desktop. So we're going to hit upload license. And I believe it should be an XML file or uh, I'm sorry, it's a .key file. So we're going to click on that key file, hit open. And now it's going to apply that license to our instance here. It does take a couple of minutes. All right, looks like it applied. You can see we got 60 days remaining and it does log you out. Don't worry, we're going to log back in. So we're going to do that admin and that default password. And you can see we are good to go. Congratulations, you successfully set up your Vinchin backup and recovery software. Now, the next steps, I'm going to have other videos to show you how to set up your first backup job, how to connect ESXi uh, to your Vinchin instance, and how to run your first backup job to backup your virtual machines on your VMware ESXi server. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.